just be. All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson seven. And in this lesson, um, we're going to be taking the data and making our line plots. In the previous videos, students have been given all the information. Everything's been done for them. This time, we're taking one step forward. Students are going to be given the data. And then from the data, they need to make their line plots. So let's get started. So what we see here is all the information that we've been given. And it says, let's see, Mrs. Felter's students build a, a model of their school's neighborhood out of blocks. The students measure the heights of the buildings to the nearest quarter inch and record the measurements as shown below. So one of the things you'll notice is it says to the nearest quarter inch, but we have some halves in there. And so that's going to kind of add a little bit of complexity to it. And the idea is... We want our students to recognize, for example, that four and a half is the same thing as four and two quarters, all right? So that's one of the things that is going to add a little bit of complexity to this. And we can see other examples of that, like three and a half. Well, that's really three and two quarters, right? And then four and two quarters quarters right here. So that's going to be popping up all over the place and we want our students to be able to do that in their head. They do not need to show their work and all that sort of stuff to show that um, how they they converted halves into quarters. That's something that we want to be common knowledge. Now one way to do that to represent that is to use a clock. You could say well here's a clock cut into quarters, and we know that two quarters equals a half. So you can really quickly, we, we just want that to be something that is just common sense, that one half is equal to two quarters. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and then now let's start plotting. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to make a title. And we're going to take the title from our table. Heights of buildings. And then down here, we need to indicate what, are, what do these numbers represent. Well, those are inches. So we're going to label that inches. And then the idea is, well, what is the X? When we put X's here, what is that going to represent? Well, those X's are going to represent one building. All right, so we've got our labels, and now we're ready to start plotting our line. And so you could just kind of go straight through like you're reading a book. And each one of these values is going to have an X down here in our line plot. Not sure if I'm going to make you watch me do all, let's see, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five. So we have 25 X's that we're going to have to put in our line plot. I'm not sure I'm going to make you watch all 25. My goodness. So three and a quarter goes right here. Three and three quarters goes right here. Four and a quarter goes right here. Four and two quarters goes right here. That's four and a half, right? And then three and two quarters, and that's the same thing as three and a half, goes right there. Four goes right here. Three goes right here. Boy, we haven't doubled up yet. Oh, finally going to double up. Three and three quarters is our first stack. All right, and we're just going to keep going, and we're going to just keep four and a half goes right here. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to pause so you don't have to watch me do all of these. So now through the magic of technology, you can see that I've crossed everything off because I have put in our X's, and that is what the line plot is going to look like. So we're going to take that line plot from the previous slide, and now we're just going to answer a bunch of questions from it. And the idea is we want our students to be able to look at the table, at the line plot, and really understand and glean all the important information from it. Um, uh, 
for example, how many buildings are four and a quarter inches tall, as in exactly four and a quarter inches tall, and we can see that's right there. There's three of them. How many buildings are less than? So are you seeing the, the importance of vocabulary? Are less than three and a half inches. So that does not include three and a half. It's all the ones that are less than three and a half. So this is a classic opportunity for a word wall because less than, more than, exactly, at least, um, fewer than, you know, all of these are really important phrases that might get a little tricky, especially for our English language learners. How many buildings are in the class model? Well, from the previous table, we knew it was five by five, so that's 25. But if we didn't remember that, how would we know how many buildings there were? Well, we would count up all of the X's and uh, that's the idea. And then we're just going to be able to, you know, parents and teachers, you might want to have students, you know, once they've got this line plot here, let students create their own questions. And uh, that's kind of a fun way. That's another great way to assess whether students understand how to read and interpret a line plot. And that wraps up. Third grade, module six, lesson seven, students are building their own line plots.